Hey guys, back again. I know it's been like a week or whatever. I don't know. Okay, so somebody told me that I forgot to talk about the Jeff Denham show, um, like two Thursdays ago. Um, it was great. It was all new material. Nikki and I had a blast. It would have been better had the guy behind us just stopped screaming old jokes and then mentioning something about his kids the entire time. But otherwise the show was just awesome. I loved the jokes. They had a new puppet, which was like Ahmed the Dead Terrorist's son, which was so weird because he was British and gay. And then they had... At the beginning of the show, they had like this, uh, like this trivia thing flashing on the screen, and it was mostly like asking Walter questions, which I found hilarious. And one of the questions, which Nikita was dying, but I was just like, yeah, haha, whatever. But it was, um, they asked uh, Walter if the Mormon missionaries had ever tried to convert him, and his answer was no, but my seven wives have. <laughs> I was like, whatever, dude. So, yeah. But it was super funny. I love the show. So, yeah. Now I've talked about it. Um, okay. So, I recently had a job interview at Vector Marketing Corporation. And the same day that I interviewed, I was hired on. So, yes, I am now employed. I am going to start work on Thursday. Or, well, training on Thursday, Friday, and Saturday. And they're going to show us how... We're selling Cutco kitchen knives. They're totally freaking awesome. Like, she sh literally cut a penny into, like, this corkscrew ribbon with the uh, kitchen shears. You know, this is stuff to c cut chicken with, and it'll cut a penny. So, you know, it'll work. But, um, so, yeah. So, she's going to show us how to demo them. We're going to... How to sell them. And then on the third day... Saturday, she's supposed to give us about three hundred dollars worth of this stuff, so we can show people how truly awesome they are. So if you are interested, or maybe if you just want to like see how awesome this stuff is, you don't have to buy anything. I still get paid, but it would be awesome. Just just putting it out there. <laughs> so yeah, and then that same day there was this mini golf tournament at the church. That was Thursday, and I wish I'd, like, brought and made, like, a, a, one of these, uh, holes. Like, everybody made a hole for the mini golf tournament, and it was so interesting how creative some of these people, I especially loved Ariane's, like, hit her mom's face pillow <laughs> tent. Whole, it was so fun. It was basically like this little winding corridor, and at the end, it was the gospel principles classroom. They had just this massive tent. I think it was like a 10 man, 12 man, I don't know how many people tent, but inside it was the hole, and at the end of the, you know, besides the hole was a pillow with your mom's face on it. And everybody was just like aiming to hit the pillow. It was just funny. And then, um, I loved Eduardo and, uh, Gustavo's uh, hole at the end with the uh, the Mario theme, and the, the music if you won and the music if you lost. That was so cool. <laughs> Let's see. And then, so, and then Friday was the Valentine's dance. That was that was super fun. <laughs> you know it. Every time we go to these dances, I feel like half an hour has gone by. Then I ask what time it is, and it's all it's time to go. It's just, it's not fair at one point, and then at the other point, it's just like, oh, gosh, I'm tired now. <laughs> but they are so super fun, and I loved this one. And then the next day, we were supposed to, um, the, Sammy was supposed to be training at Vector Marketing. He's working there, too. Um, and they canceled on him, so he came over and we went hiking. And we went up into Auburn again. And again, I swear it's another dried up waterfall of a trail. But, um, it was a lot steeper than the other one. Well, not so much that it was steeper, it was a lot longer. And he had to really, like, more climb up it instead of really walk it. 
And then, so we crossed the bridge over there in Auburn. And I guess this is the same bridge that's in that Triple X movie that they did a stunt off. I haven't seen this movie and I'll have to look at it now. <laughs> well, we crossed that bridge and then decided that we were going to go down an even steeper side to get down to this trail. And I nearly hit Sammy in the elbow with a rock when I was coming down behind him. So, sorry. <laughs> So yeah, after that, we were trying to get to Alexis's baptism. Totally congrats, Alexis. I'm so happy for you. But we were trying to get there, and we ended up getting lost, I guess. And I, I don't know the area too well, so we ended up just stopping off and getting food instead. Which Sammy found out, like, how much UFC I know. I'm not going to claim to be an expert, but... I can enjoy a good fight. <laughs> and then, um, so, and then that night we were all supposed to go to this Valentine's Day party. But I'm so glad we didn't do that now. Because I guess it was a house party. And they were doing a $2 charge. And, like, as far as I had seen, like, 145 people had been invited to this party. And it's just a house party. It's just a little tiny house party. And... So, I guess the cops got called on this one. They had, like, nine cops come to this Mormon party and totally break it up and told everybody to go home. So, yeah, I'm, I'm glad we didn't go because that would have been a, such a hassle. So, and then, so, let's see, what am I talking about now? I'm talking, oh, I've got my notes down here. So if you ever wonder how I'm, like, keeping track, staring off, I'm cheating, I'm cheating. But, um, anyway, so I recently got a calling in the church, which is so awesome. Apparently, bulletin board coordinator is a calling, but it's super fun, and I, I'm still working on it, right? Currently, right now, the bulletin board says under construction by the new management. <laughs> So I've been redoing it, redecorating it, trying to get it the way I want it. I end up ripping everything down and just starting from scratch because I was kind of bored with like, it looked like a teacher's classroom layout before. So I've decided that I'm going to, uh, I've put up, it's like this eggshell white paper and I'm going to draw a border on it instead of put a border up because I think it's going to be a little cooler that way. And then I'm going to have a uh, meet the new members a uh, part. I'm gonna have FHE photos. I'm gonna have a bunch of cool stuff on this thing. I'm gonna have so much fun with it. <laughs> and I get to decorate it however I like. I love it. So, and then, you know, so then that, that's what's going on in church, and that was Sunday. And it, it was, well, it wasn't Sunday that I got the calling, but, you know, whatever. So then, Oh, FHE last night. That was super fun. Another Valentine's Day theme thing, and that was Valentine's Day. That was super fun. Um, Sammy came over, and we spent the majority of Valentine's Day together. His mom, oh my goodness. Oh my gosh, the girl, that woman is so cute. She, I love her. But uh, we, we get to his house, and she's arranged this little private dinner for us. There's glass like wine glasses but you know no wine and um there's the a whole lunch with the the bread and the salad and everything set up and then she just goes off and eats in her room and leaves us alone i was like oh my goodness <laughs> so then you know after lunch we made rice krispie treats that was fun in all right i'm it's been a long time since i made rice krispie treats but man do they have like cobwebs when you're first mixing them Anyway, so then it was FHE that night, and they had the little party game, and again, one of these situations where we have to give each other something, and Sammy doesn't get mine, it's a little annoying, but hey, I got Sister Evans, and that was sweet, I love you, <laughs> and uh, so that was just, had a lot of fun, um, Elder McPherson. If you haven't seen my video on Facebook yet, you have to go see this. Elder McPherson. Somebody brought a ukulele, 
and Elder McPherson is just going to town singing a No Woman, No Cry by Bob Marley. Oh my goodness, it is so funny. You have to watch it if you haven't seen it already. <laughs> okay. So, yeah, that was the week that I had announced and everything. And then, like, tonight was my, uh, my school stuff. You know, my creative writing class. And it was the night where our short, st our short stories were due last week, like I was saying. And I had uh, actually changed my short story again. <laughs> I, I told you guys that I was, I was changing it once and it was going to be like this more of a wilderness story. And then I ended up ditching that and just turning in something I'd turned into my last creative writing class. And so they did the critique on it today. And they totally ripped into me. And it wasn't even constructive stuff. It was stuff that I already knew. Like, the same stuff I got last time. So I guess I shouldn't have turned in something I'd already turned in. But whatever. It was a different class. And I thought I'd get, you know, different people. And it, it was mostly... I don't know. I, I turned in a chapter for my horror novel. And that's all I'm going to say from there. <laughs> so, yeah. So, um, and other news. I'm looking for a new place to stay. Because I'm kind of bored with my parents' house. I'm... Hoping the vector marketing will let me get an apartment pretty soon, and then I can start doing Sunday dinners and maybe even hosting FHE. That would be super awesome. And then missionaries are totally welcome to my place whenever I get one. <laughs> I won't have this whole no people in my house kind of thing going on. Ugh, whatever. <laughs> Alrighty, so I guess that's all I've got for today. Again, congratulations, Alexis, on your baptism. You made just an awesome choice. I love you. <laughs> Goodbye.